Hundreds marched to a military installation in Crimea's regional capital of Simferopol, where Ukrainian soldiers are refusing demands by pro-Russian forces to pack up and leave. Waving Ukrainian flags and carrying flowers, the crowd gathered outside the compound to thank soldiers for not abandoning their post. Personnel here say they've received threats from pro-Russian elements with connections to the Kremlin, but the soldiers say they won't give in to such demands. Today at 9.30 a.m. about 20 people arrived in the territory of the military commissariat. They jumped over the fence, came up to the person on duty and, pointing a gun at him, forced him to open the door. After that another group of about 150 people arrived. They were Cossacks and military men in uniform carrying guns. They said they received orders from a general named Kuznetsov. They told us we should leave the premises and take our personal belongings with us. Russian forces have set up checkpoints across the Crimean Peninsula and prevented Ukrainian military personnel from accessing some bases. Ukrainian soldiers are under intense pressure to defect or leave, although they have so far remained loyal. In the port city of Feodosia, Ukrainian soldiers are still on base, but they're being watched carefully by unmarked foreign soldiers. The foreign forces, who don't like to be filmed, refuse to be identified when asked, but it's clear they belong to the Russian military. A Ukrainian soldier there said he and fellow personnel believe it's their duty to guard their base and that they won't give in to Russian pressure. We found out that they were approaching literally 20 minutes prior to their arrival in the city of Feodosia. What actually happened is that they blocked the entrance to the checkpoint as well as the exit. At first they didn't voice their demands. Some time later they asked us to lay aside our weapons so that we could guard the weapons together, or so to speak. Well, the answer was strictly no. Frankly speaking, we are capable of protecting both the people of Ukraine and ourselves. That's why they kept on urging us to lay our weapons aside. And these demands have not subsided. But we will not change our reply. It will remain unchanged. Soldiers say they've received reports of provocations by pro-Russian elements, many of whom are believed to have been sent to Crimea from Russia. Some suspect that Russian forces are trying to provoke a violent incident to use as an excuse to use force against the Ukrainian military. With Russia continuing to send more soldiers and military vehicles into the peninsula, officials in Ukraine and the West worry that armed conflict could erupt as tensions between Moscow and Kiev escalate and patience runs thin under the occupation in Crimea. For JN1, I'm Chris Collison with Vasil Mamilin in Ukraine.